Hello everyone, so today we're going to my favorite place, not, <laughs> going to the Ortho, um, it's one o'clock, I'm running late, um, I don't know, I just, I hate going to the Ortho around this time, I feel like it's so stupid, it's like midday, sorry. And it's just, it's just annoying because I have other things that I need to get done. So it's kind of like, ugh, I don't really want to be here. And plus I hate going to the board though, you guys. Like, I cannot wait to get, I don't care about the actual races, but just coming to the ortho every month. It's just so annoying. So I'm like so ready to take these things off, hopefully. Hopefully, in like two months, I'll be able to take them off. But who knows with these people? Who knows? Um, I'm leaving in a week, you guys. Ugh. Isn't that crazy? I have so much shit to do. I have so much things that I need to get done. I need, let's see what I need to do. Um, it's a lot of, a lot of shopping for like gifts and stuff that I'm taking, I need, ugh, I just need a lot of stuff. So I'm going to take you guys with me when I do all of my little knickknacks, you know, like shopping for like little things that I've forgotten. I need, um, I need to go buy some foundation, I need some concealer, I need some eyeliner, mascara, ugh, I need so much shit. I have to get uh, more film, or yeah, is that what it's called? For my Fuji film, for like the Polaroid camera. I need batteries, just like stupid things. Stupid things, honestly. I have to go get all that done this week, like ASAP. This year, I'm like so not ready to leave. Like last year, I was so prepared. Like I had everything done like a week before. Like I didn't have to do anything the week that I was leaving. And now I feel like I left everything for the last minute. Like I have so much to do. Kind of like this stupid appointment that I actually had to do last week. But of course I rescheduled it like an idiot. I'm like three minutes late, you guys. I hope they don't make a big ass deal about this. Um, I'm, I don't know if I'm like gonna vlog in there because they're like, they're really nice people, that, but they're very like opinionated. And so they're probably gonna ask me like, oh, what's your channel name? This, this, and that. And I don't know. I don't really want all that attention. <laughs> so anyways, let's go. So that was literally the quickest appointment of my life. I went in there at 23. It's 50, but I've been in the car for like five minutes. So what did that take? Like 20, 20 to 25 minutes. That was amazing. So I have, I have a sort of good news to deliver. Um, they changed my rubber bands. I got blue. Um, I'm like blue. I got blue. Um, I don't know if I made the right decision. I love wearing dark colors on my braces, but I don't know. Maybe I should have gone light. Actually, no. Like, why would I go light if I know I don't like it? So, I think I made the right decision. So, anyways, I'm going to... Ugh. 
So anyways, I'm gonna kind of update you guys, tell you guys what they said. So basically, um, basically they said that I was looking great, that my braces were looking, my teeth were looking perfect. Um, they, they scheduled my, my appointment for August 3rd, but my next appointment, it was gonna be in four weeks, but I had to tell them like, no, like I'm sorry because I'm gonna be leaving then. So, um, I mean not leaving, I'm not gonna be, not gonna be here. You know, I don't come back till like two weeks after that. So I had to push it back a little bit, which is disappointing because something really excited, exciting is gonna happen. They're basically going to, um, get my retainers like mold my teeth to the retainers which is awesome I'm so happy I'm so excited I'm so close to getting my my braces removed I am so happy I think I've never been as happy as I am right now that's gonna be really exciting and then also he was well first the assistant that helps me she's super sweet and I've been getting her for like the past six months or so I always um, get her now and she's so sweet because she's like so young and she's like really like relatable I don't know I really like her so uh, we were like talking and stuff and then you know I told her I've told you guys so many times that one of my two really bothers me because um, it's longer than the other one and it's like really annoying when I like do videos or like take pictures and I smile and my teeth are like super straight but one of them is longer than the other one and it's really obvious when you have straight teeth um you know when I had my crooked ass teeth you didn't even notice that because you were so distracted by everything else um that you didn't like notice that right so whatever um so you know she she was telling me that yeah like she was she could notice it she's like okay let me bring the dentist and like we'll tell him and so she brought there's two um dentists in my location that i go there's like the owner of the place and there's this like asian young guy he's younger the the owner is an older you know white man and you know he's older and I always get him and I don't mind because he's really good obviously but I feel like sometimes the younger one does things like he'll be like okay yeah we'll do it like right now and the old guy he'll be like okay yeah next time you come in we'll fix it you know and he's been saying that forever about my tooth so this time she called like the uh, the younger guy and he came over and he was like oh yeah he like measured them and he was checking he was like oh yeah like he was like pointing out everything that bothered him that I had never even noticed. Like that's how picky this guy was. He was like, okay, that bothers me because that tooth is rounded off differently than this tooth. And he was like pointing out everything. I was like, okay, dude, you're a perfectionist. Like I'm not, like that's the only one that bothers me, but whatever. So he's like, do you mind like just getting it done today? I'm like, absolutely not. I'm like, go ahead, like do whatever you need to do. And he did it and so, um, towards the end, he's like, okay, we're done. And he's like, we're not completely done. When we, when we get your braces off, I'm going to retouch all of them again. I'm like, do what you got to do. So he shaved my upper teeth. Like the, oh, the, did a crash just happen? Oh, no, she has a flat tire. So basically, um, um, yeah, he shaved all my teeth. Um, the... The upper ones yeah and so now I feel like this one's a little bit still longer than the other one but it's not as like obvious it used to be so obvious and I'm trying to open my mouth more so when I edit I I'll notice like if it's better oh yeah I can totally see a difference oh, my teeth look so freaking white I'm so proud of them um Oh, FYI, I'm, just, I'm going to Starbucks because I didn't get breakfast today. It's 2 o'clock already. I'm hungry. And my mom wants me to take her grocery shopping later. So I honestly need as much energy as I possibly can get to take her grocery shopping because I fucking hate it. I hate grocery shopping. And the worst thing is, like, we're not even getting a lot of stuff because 
we can't we just can't get a lot of stuff because it'll, it'll just like it'll be a waste because we're literally leaving leaving in a week so it's stupid like we're not gonna get a gallon of milk because we're not like we're not gonna eat it and we're not gonna get she was thinking like okay we need ham we need cheese i'm like okay like we're not not going to eat all that oh this fucking truck is so close to me dude fuck away from me oops sorry um like we're not gonna eat it so it's kind of stupid but at the same time oh that guy was so cute with his orange sunglasses so anyway i'm gonna go to starbucks i actually like coming to the starbucks because they make like the freaking best coffee of life oh look at this guy he's so cute it's like an older guy like 70s 60s so cute <sighs> um anyways so yeah they changed my rubber bands i got royal blue they uh, i have a really bad stomach ache i got um my teeth my upper teeth shaved down which i've been trying to do for like the past six months and this dude like he finally was like let's do it i'm like let's please so i can go on vacation looking fat No, I didn't know I didn't know. I'm like about two weeks ago I came here to like the drive through at Starbucks and they had like chairs mounted on the driveway and I was like what the fuck is going on? So um there's like this huge sign that they said like the lights were off. Hi, welcome to the first Starbucks. What can we get for you today? Hi, can I get an iced venti non fat caramel latte? Iced venti non fat latte you said caramel? Caramel latte. Okay. And that's Anything all. Else? Okay. Thank we'll you. Have by the window. Thank okay, you. thank you. There used to be this guy that I work here that he would always get shit like wrong. Like it was embarrassing actually. So stupid of him. I hated him, but I think he got fired because I stopped coming for like about a month or two and then he was like gone. Like I've I've come here and he's like gone. But it was so fucking sad like he would get everything wrong like one time I came I always ordered the same thing here and he gave me like a grande and I was like okay whatever and then the next time I came he like gave me with like whole milk and I'm like okay like whatever you know it's stupid little things so I'm like okay it doesn't matter and then the last time I came the one that was like okay I'm done oh shit I was showing my card and then the like the next time that I came he um he gave me a macchiato instead of a latte and that was like okay i'm done like i love macchiatos but don't don't give me so many extra calories that i i don't need at the moment you know i i have enough of those it was like really stupid oh my god you guys i got a new rebecca mcgoff bag not the black one that i've showed you guys i already showed you guys the black one i got a new one and I'm super stoked about it. And I got it yesterday. I was gonna do an unboxing, but then I was like, you know what, I might as well like use it and then do like a, like a legit review. Because I feel like unboxings are like so helpless. Like, okay, but what do you, you can't tell me what you think about it if you haven't used it. So I, I went to Starbucks. You guys saw me. I just, my camera like overheated, so I had to like turn it off for a bit. Um, so, funny, whatever. Oh, I'm not even gonna tell you guys, it's so stupid. Mm. My coffee's great. Um, my coffee is great, it's like on point. So, oh yeah totally forgot you guys like when I was telling you about the things that I needed like to do I need to like dye my hair okay like that is the first thing it has to be on top of my list I'm about to do like a list of all the shit that I need to get done so that I make sure I do it because I'm like sometimes I'll be watching tv and um and 
I'll like remember, I'll like see things sitting there and I'm like, oh, I need this, you know, like that kind of thing. So I feel like I'm gonna forget something, even though I've never forgotten something. So I'm like jinxing myself. <sighs> Knock on wood, there's no wood in my car. But anyways. Oh, I really, oh, okay, so. I don't know if you guys, um, I was watching my friend recommended some like vlogs and I started watching them. Not gonna say like names or anything, like I'm gonna keep that to myself because I feel like this, a lot of people will identify themselves with what I'm saying, like a lot of vloggers, but I'm not necessarily talking about everyone, I'm just talking about one vlogger. But whatever, that's not even the point. So I was watching this vlog that my friend recommended over the weekend. I was like watching them um, when I had like some spare time. So something that stood out to me was this particular vlogger or you know person, whatever. He like goes to the drive-through. Um, He'll, like take his friends or whatever and they'll like whoever's like helping them on the other end they're being so rude to them and they're like making fun of her basically and it's so sad to watch it really is it's like why would you do that like that person is like working you know they're trying to make a living like you don't know why like you don't know their life story like why would you just like make fun of them like that and just like make their job harder for a video for views like that is so pathetic that is so sad I it, I was so livid when I was watching this because you know when I was in high school <laughs> And like you know, I was trying to make a couple of bucks. I I and I was obviously getting experience and stuff. I worked customer service. Like I worked customer service for three years. Um, and customer service is so hard. Like people that have never worked customer service probably will never understand how hard it is. It takes a toll on on your life it really does it it changes you honestly it does and i feel like all these people that are so rude and like mean and it's being mean because you don't know the person and you're like being rude to them and disrespecting them like i think that's so sad and i was totally turned off by these vlogs i was like this, this is disgusting like I know a lot of people do it for like views and for like you know they think it's funny um i personally don't don't think it's funny i feel like a lot of people you can be funny without insulting people or without making fun of other people like you can still be funny um like people can be hilarious with their own type of jokes you know you don't have to go and like you know deliberately be like rude to people just to make others laugh like it was so sad sorry I made a phone call anyway um I just thought it was so yeah so sad and it's like or like wow they were being rude they're like laughing about it like probably thinking how funny and hilarious they are but they're not they're just being rude and they have like no manners whatsoever Ugh. just gets to me like you know, I'm a someone in my vlog, in one of my vlogs, where I was like that to you guys, said like, oh, you're so mean, you're so rude, and you know, what did they tell me? Like, oh, one day you'll be, one day you'll be a happy person or something, and you know, with that comment, yeah, you know, I'll tell you guys like, oh, this place sucks, like they keep getting this wrong, I'm like, oh, I'm so, I would never never go to a drive through and be like you know what I want this this and that like you did this I would never do that because I know how hard it is you know so I obviously tell you guys because you know they're not gonna watch this videos like 
I just tell you guys, okay, well, this place got it wrong. But to actually, you know, you can actually hear the person's voice on the drive through speaker box. And they're, like, making fun of her. It's so sad. It's so sad. And, ugh. Like, you don't do that. And, like, they'll be ordering and they'll be saying random things to, like, confuse the girl. Um. It's so, like, it's not, it's not right. And this fucking lane here is so dangerous. Like, ugh, this fucking freeway sometimes can literally get a girl killed. Shit. Oh, and then also with the whole, I'm like, I, I watch a lot of YouTubers and I watch a lot of different um, videos and you guys all know that my favorite beauty vlogger is Makeup by Tiffany D and I like her because she just, she's like, she's not involved in like drama or anything like that. Like she, her videos I feel like are, are really real and she's like, a, I feel like she's a genuine real person. Uh, I might be totally wrong but I think she is. Because uh, she's been on YouTube for how long and there's never been controversy with her? I don't know. But I also used to watch a lot of like, um, I think, what's her name? Graveyard Girl? And it's like, you know, like, oh, what's it called? Um, does this thing really work? I, I like those kinds of videos because I do research before I buy stuff. And it's, it's just like fun to watch those. But I don't know if you guys saw the whole thing with her latest video where it's like, she's making like fun of Mexican, Mexican candy. And I've seen those videos gone around where they're like, taste testing some candy and it's again it's so it's so sad um because you know a lot of people like don't know about mexican candy and they don't know you know that like what what even it is you know and they talk this stuff about it and you're like they don't realize how important those candies are you know for our culture you know and like how we grew up on that stuff it's like you know it's crazy so um i don't know i feel like people are becoming so rude nowadays it's it's like crazy anyways you guys um i'm getting home now i have to go pick up my mom because she wants to go grocery shopping so that sucks Okay, so that's kind of going to be it for this video. I just wanted to take you guys to the ortho with me, even though we didn't actually go in there together. It, like I told you guys, my like the people are very like opinionated. They're nice, but they like want to know everything. So it's not like I can just take my camera and they'll like not notice. They're very like, they like having conversations. And so um, like I don't want to be like, yeah, like, I don't know. It's just weird. So, um... But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little update, a little bit of um, some talking, like chatting and stuff. And yeah, this was just a, uh, a quick video because I really did want to do a braces update. And as you can see, I have new Shavely, 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 I don't know how to say it, like shaved down, I don't know. Teeth, they're so perfect. Um, really happy so yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time with my next video bye